Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Outlook and how we can add a BCC field into our emails. This will be a very quick tutorial so if you do find it useful please give the video a like and um, click subscribe hit the bell it really does mean a lot to the channel um, and with all that said let's jump on into it. So we're going to head over to our um, Microsoft Outlook desktop app and click on a new email. From here, we'll notice that we have a to field and a CC field, but no BCC field. So the first thing that we want to do is actually navigate up to our little mini ribbon here, um, find the options tab, click that, and then we'll see a show fields option and a currently unselected BCC button. If we click the BCC button and enter it's enabled and get a bit of a gray background, uh, we'll also notice that we have now included a new field within our header of our email called BCC. So the main differences between CC and BCC is a carbon copy, which means we can copy someone into our email um, and everyone within that email will know that we've copied them in and a blind carbon copy or BCC, which basically kind of hides out anybody who is included as a BCC will not be visible to anybody that was included in a CC or into a two field. Um, so basically they're kind of invisible um, recipients to the email, if you will. Okay, and these are two very powerful functions. So the CC is obviously great to just copy people in. And um, so it's like more like an FYI, this is happening kind of scenario. Um, or a BCC is very useful for when you want to copy people into a conversation um, or an email thread um, that you do not want everybody within that thread to know that they've been copied in. Um, and that's it. So that's how you would go about adding a um, blind carbon copy field back into your Outlook emails. Um, if you find this useful, um, please click on the like button, hit subscribe, tap that bell. Um, it really does mean a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.